All right, I wanted to send out a quick message to our whole team. Um, didn't get the opportunity to address everybody formally because things escalated very quickly. And as you all know by this point, we've been mandated to close our doors as a fitness center or fitness facility. Um, there's a lot of challenges and it is now hit home. Um, those of you that know me know that I don't follow the news much um, and I'm heavily involved in the sports world, in CrossFit, um, in coaching, interacting with people. So um, it has hit home. Um, I would like to explain to you guys what um, the top three priorities are for myself and for this gym. Um, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of um, guesses on when things will go back to normal, if they ever will go back to normal. Um, and I'll address um, my stance and the stance that the gym will take throughout this and then coming out of it. Um, my number one priority is that no one that I know, none of you guys, um, to include myself, my family, and then you guys' families, don't get affected by um, this virus that's going around and um, do our part just as good human beings not to contribute to the spread of it. So that's, that's the number one priority, to make sure that everyone comes out of this safe. Every day during this, as you know, I got more and more informed on the situation, in the back of my mind, I always um, struggle between, do I keep this going because I know it's beneficial, giving everyone a healthy outlet, and with what would happen if somebody from, you know, contracted this virus here at the gym and how irresponsible that would be from a leadership standpoint to let that happen. Um, so th that was a struggle for me. Um, I tried to um, border on the line of cautious but um, realistic and, and, and still trying to be responsible. So in one aspect, I'm relieved that um, the state has taken the stance of not putting any guesswork and saying just shut down, um, as unfortunate as that is. So um, all we can focus now is on, you know, what next. And what next is, for me, my top priority is to make sure that you guys don't just let your fitness go um, by the wayside. Um, with unique choices of food available, um, not what we usually have when we go to the grocery store, um, and being more confined, um, there's, the, there, there's definitely the opportunity for people to start eating unhealthy, not moving as much, and that has a direct um, effect on your health and fitness. Um, you guys have done a whole lot to build a good base of fitness that'll keep us, um, hopefully for the most part, safe from this virus. Um, and I want to make sure that all of that hard work doesn't go um, uh, just uh, by the wayside. So I will do everything that I can to make sure that we both, and I say we both because I need you guys' help to stay accountable as well. Um, we both, we all come out of this um, with maintaining a, a good level of fitness um, learning some things that we can do when we can't make it to the gym um, to stay fit um, and take that opportunity to influence others around us that may say, well, I can't do anything. Let me just watch TV or um, be sedentary or eat poorly. We can take the lead in showing people that it can be done. Um, and if it can be done during um, these times, imagine what we can do when um, we're not restricted. So number one priority, everyone being safe. Number two, keeping your fitness level as high as we can keep it um, during this time um, with giving you help, tips, uh, information on nutrition and fitness. Um, the third thing is to make this home that you guys um, have helped build um, stay and uh, improve. So. With the downtime, from a business standpoint, I am going to be um, doing a lot of things to make things better. Looking at our practices for cleanliness, for um, how efficiently classes are run, how um, detailed the instruction um, is, 
uh, and really given options of what to do when I can't make it, when um, traffic is bad, when work demands are, are tough, and I can't make it to the gym on my prescribed days. Um, this is definitely given some options for us to test um, and me to take feedback to improve our process and give you guys a better product as we, as we come out of this. Um, I've talked to um, the people that affect our um, existence and it looks like things will be good. Um, um, for, you know, for, for the onset um, during this uncertain time, we have a lot uh, you know, going for us um, uh, to, to make sure that we're gonna stay around. I appreciate all of the concerns and the people that have reached out, um, wanting to make sure that we're gonna be okay as a gym, and I promise you that um, I will do everything in my power to not only have a gym for you to come back to, but a better gym for you to come back to. So um, I want you guys to stay safe, I want you to stay fit, I want you to stay connected with me, um, and, um, and, and two, give your feedback on, on, on what we can do through this time and coming out of this to make things better. All right, I love you guys, I miss you guys. This social distancing thing is gonna be tough. Um, no sports, uh, it, life's gonna be rough, but first world problems. Um, I will hopefully give you some entertainment. Um, I've been away from you know interacting on social media as much as I was last year. Now um, this coronavirus has brought me out of um, social hiding. So I will pump out as much content as I can, let you guys know what I'm doing, what the gym's doing um, to get better and, and awaiting your return. So I'll sign off, um, let's stay fit and, and stay connected to each other and keep the Power Dome alive, thank you.